Hi planner friends, it's Sydney from Sid Plants It Out. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, I'm doing a voiceover this week because that's just how this week went. So I'm showing here, I'm using these stickers from JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop. I have my um, retractable fountain pen and then I had the three um, Tombow markers, which I realized I went through very quickly. So it was 451, 526, and 553. Those are the three colors that I'm using. Um, here I'm just trying to decide like what I want to use where based on what matches. So that very first one is the one I didn't end up using on of those color swatches, but I did use the other three. Um, that very first one was one that I pulled out earlier and then decided it was too much. So here I'm just adding this washi tape. I felt like this washi tape would look really nice with these florals. I couldn't tell you why, but it just felt right. So that's what we went with. Um, also, I'm doing a voiceover because I just didn't want to think while I was doing this. Like I didn't want to speak while I was making this video. I just wanted to watch someone else plan and also plan. I just... Yeah, I just needed that. <laughs> so that's why I'm doing a voiceover here, but um, I'm using the darkest of the Tombos here, which is um, 526 to add the some color to the lines on these pages or on the left page. I did end up uh, smearing a little bit towards the top. You'll, you'll probably see when I get a little bit annoyed with myself here right there. You can see that I was upset. And then I was like, you know what? It's fine. We're just, we're just going to go with it. It's going to be okay. <laughs> so I'm adding in my extra line here to mark what workout I do when I do work out or if I went to PT. Um, really, really hoping to do better with the working out thing. I'm working on it. Now I'm taking the like purpley kind of color. It's um, 553 and using that to, I think it's called purple mist, um, using that to highlight January and that it is week one of 2024. And then also the numbers for the week. Uh, now I'm going to start adding in some of these florals. Um, these florals are from Jojo, Jojo's Pretty Paper Shop. I can't remember if I said that at the beginning or not. So that's where they're from. And these are from, this is one of the pages from the Floral Advent. Um, I know that Jojo was looking to do some like grab bags or something like that with extras that she printed from some of the advents. So... I can't remember what date, so it, it's possible that it already happened, but even if it did, I highly recommend going to her um, website and going to her shop, her Etsy, going to her Etsy shop, words are hard, and <laughs> checking out um, all of her stickers because they're just, they're just so pretty. This is just a very small sampling size of them, and I, I just really liked these. They're like... I don't know that they're supposed to have a wintry vibe and they probably don't have a wintry vibe, but in my brain, they had a wintry vibe. So that's why I'm using them for the first week of January. Um, I thought about trying to find some more like New Year's Eve stickers to use for this week. And I just, I just didn't have it in me, you guys. I just, yeah, I don't know. I think I New Year's myself out which is weird because I don't feel like I did that many New Year's spreads. I don't know. New Year's spreads are not my favorite. I, I have to say they're really not like my favorite. So, all right, now I'm trying to decide what marker I'm going to use. And I decided to use the 451, which is the lightest colored one. And I'm trying to decide like how I want to set up this right hand page because I have a lot of room because I did like, I only had those four stickers and so I have a lot of room, so I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. And I decided, you know what, let's try doing it sideways this week. Let's set up this page like a horizontal page instead of a vertical page, because why not? 
So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just filling in the uh, habits that I want to track for this week. So we have all of the regulars, AM routine, physical therapy, um, which still not doing great with that, but it's fine. <laughs> uh, AM routine, physical therapy, water, and then I added closing my rings because I just kind of want to see how that one goes. Um, I have a feeling that it's only going to happen on days that I go to the gym, but you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. And then the last one being my PM routine. And I realized that I didn't put reading in there, but I mean, you know, that's okay. And I put water instead of read. That's what I did. I did that wrong. Oh, well, we're changing it up this week. It's fine. Um, and then I'm trying to decide here how I want to set up the water tracker, which is why I didn't have water in my habits last week because I did this like big water tracker, but it's fine. I don't know. I told you guys, my brain was kind of fried when I was trying to, like when I told myself I have to film this, my brain was a little fried and I was like, you know, I'm just going to do a voiceover for it because of that. So here we see my, an example of my brain struggling. So I set up those two lines at the top there, one to be the water tracker and then one to be, um, a wake and sleep time tracker like out of bed and, or like wake up and uh, go to sleep tracker. I don't know, it's a thing that I'm trying. I'm not really sure how I feel about it yet, but it's a thing. Um, <laughs> and then I'm doing my sleep graph here. So I have four through nine, and then Monday through Sunday, obviously. And then I'm just using that um, 451 Tombow to, um, make a spot to label the sleep graph. And then here I decided, I realized like, oh, I could have done that the other way and it would have been really cool. Like I could have also done that one horizontal instead of vertical, but I didn't think it through quite right. So I could have done it for the water tracker, but I wouldn't have been able to do it for the like wake and sleep time. Like it wouldn't have fit that way. So I was like, oh, well, these the top of the page will be vertical and the bottom of the page will be horizontal. That's, that's fine. It is what it is. Uh, and then I sat here and I struggled with these water droplets for tracking water. I don't know why these are so hard to draw. Like sometimes I feel like water droplets are easy to draw and sometimes I feel like they're impossible. And today they were feeling rather impossible. So... Yeah, but I did get them done, so go me. And then down here, I wanted to put sleep, and I was just counting out the boxes to see if I could put each letter in a box, which I could. Uh, that second E, it got a little like close together, and it was a little, yeah, it didn't it didn't look the best, but it's okay. Uh, here I'm trying to figure out can I use the rest of these to like make this more decorative and I just didn't like it. So I realized that I was like, I just don't know, like what else can I add? I feel like I'm missing something. So I decided to use the Tombows to kind of like doodle. I don't know. I'm not a hundred percent sure how I feel about them. If I'm being honest, um, they're not the worst things ever, but they're also not like my favorite things ever. So I kind of, was trying to make like kind of like roses. Um, I've been watching a lot of um, Helen from the Coffee Monsters Co. I've been watching a lot of her videos and she like doodles these cute little roses. So I was like, oh, I can do that. Like that's not hard. Um, but I don't feel like mine turned out looking like roses. I feel like all of mine are upside down. I feel like that's the problem. Like they look like they're upside down, but I don't, I don't really know. I mean, that that's totally what it is. They look like they're upside down to me. So <laughs> that's, uh, that's cool, but whatever. It filled in the space and added a little bit more color. And that was really what I was going for. I just, you know, <laughs> you can see there, I was like, yeah, I guess, <laughs> I guess that's okay. That's honestly how I was feeling. Very like 
uncertain, but it is what it is. And yeah, so once I finish up with those, that is going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, you can hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next one. Again, thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.